Hi, this is Dave from Hector Smokehouse, and today I'm going to be making some grilled Mexican corn on the cob. Um, very simple recipe to do. It's just going to take some corn. I'm going to make some uh, foil boats, which I'm going to add some butter into, and I'm going to grill the corn on the Weber barbecue. Get some nice char on the corn to so make it some um, beautiful flavor into there. And then I'm going to smear it with um, a mayonnaise that I've used before, and I've got the, the recipe for the mayonnaise is up there. Going to add some different flavors a little bit of lime into there and some chili and then we're going to put on some uh, cheese at the end onto the actual uh, onto the corn itself and um, the cheese i'm going to be using is just going to be straightforward parmesan but um, you could quite easily use a mexican cheese uh, to go on there so this is, is similar to the, the the sort of street food you can get in mexico but it's not exactly the same so i hope you enjoy the video if you do please click like and please subscribe to the channel so the plan is, um, I've got this sweet corn, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some foil boats to sit it in as it goes onto the grill. I'm gonna put some butter in there and I'll keep turning them in the butter. And then obviously they're gonna get nice and charred, but then you're gonna get the buttery flavor going into the char as well. So what I'll do is I'll start folding some of these up and um, make little boats to actually sit these in. So yeah, so basically that's it. Um, just some little four boats, put lots of butter on, um, melt the butter obviously inside and keep turning them in there. And that'll keep, uh, keep creating a real nice char, but that really nice buttery taste going into the actual corn itself. So there you go, there's the four pieces of corn. Um, they're all in the little foil boats. And what I'm gonna do now is add some butter on them and then they're gonna go onto the Weber grill. So I've got some spreadable butter. Um, we'll just take some of the this butter and we'll spread it onto the sweet corn and get it nice and coated and as I say once you've got it in there it's going to melt anyway and then it's going to go to the bottom so you don't really need to get the butter all the way around but and if you get a little bit on there that'll work out really well and then obviously sweet corn's always delicious with a little bit of salt on there as well. So I'll just carry on and I'll, I'll do the rest of them this way just with this spreadable butter. So there we go, there's all four of the sweet corns. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt onto here. I think butter, salt and sweet corn is like a marriage made in heaven. Um, obviously we're going to add a lot more flavours to these because we're going to add the uh, Mexican side of it. We're going to add the lime mayonnaise um, with some chili in it, and we're also going to um, add the cheese. I think, I think the, the, the Mexican cheese is called cajija, um, but we haven't got any of that, so I'm just going to use parmesan today. So I've got some mayonnaise that um, I made myself. It's in a previous video, so you should be able to actually look at the link to see how to make the mayonnaise. Um, so I'm going to use some of this mayonnaise. This is going to be used to smother onto the um, sweet corn once it's cooked. So we'll use quite a, quite a bit of that. So that should be enough to cover that off. And then what we're going to add to that is a few other flavors. And um, so the intention is that we'll add some lime zest. So I've got some lime zest in there that we'll put in there. So that's a zest of one lime. And in here I've got one and a half teaspoons of um, chili powder. So I'm probably only going to use one of those and then I'll test it and see what it actually tastes like. So I think that'll do for now. So we'll give this a little stir in. And I may put a bit of lime juice in there as well. So I've got half a lime. I'll squeeze half a lime into there as well. And we'll mix that in. Okay. Oh, that's really nice. 
I think I'm going to add the rest of the chilli powder in. So that's one and a half teaspoons of chilli powder. I think this was a, a Turkish chilli powder. And then we've got the zest of one lime and half half of the juice of one uh, half of the one lime juice as well. So let's give that another try. Oh wow, that is really nice. So yeah, so this is what we're going to use to actually um, smother onto the um, the the uh, corn, and then we'll also add some cheese onto there as well. So I've now moved the um, the corn directly over the. Uh, slow and sear over the, the charcoals, so that should actually speed up the process a little bit more. So just move them around a little bit and get some of that butter coated on the other sides. So I've ended up cooking these around about 300 directly over the charcoal. And you can see now we're starting to get some nice chair and actually onto them. It's starting to pop as well a little bit. So I'm just gonna have to be a little bit careful and keep turning them around. And, but yeah, it's got some nice chair on there, but around about 300 um, degrees F and um, direct. So there you go, they're looking pretty good. Nice char marks on them. They're just about to come off now and um, ready to go into the uh, mayonnaise and the cheese. So here's the sweet corn straight off the, the Weber. You can see there's got some really nice char on there. So the next plan is to um, put some of the mayonnaise on and then we'll roll it in the um, Parmesan cheese. So here we go. We've got the mayonnaise in here. I'm gonna take the sweet corn and take uh, plenty of the mayonnaise. And put the mayonnaise all the way around and the sweet corn as so. And then what I'm gonna do is, so I've got the mayonnaise on, then we're just gonna roll it in the cheese. And there you go. That's each one of them done. Just going to add a little bit of um, chili onto them as well, just to finish them off. But I think that looks pretty good. It should be really tasty. So I'll show you what they look like in a minute. So there you go. That's what they look like finished. Just put in a little bit more um, this chili on. And we'll just add a squeeze of lime on, but they look absolutely beautiful. And um, I think these are going to be absolutely tasty. Okay, so that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna try some of this. Got a little bit of lime to go on it and see what this tastes like. Mmm. Boy, this is absolutely delicious. Oh wow, this is fantastic. Please click like and subscribe to the channel. Talk to you again soon.